I made this panorama some years ago with scans from the film to CD transfer service in a high street mini lab but I've never been happy with the technical quality of it so I want to use my scanner to scan the negatives again uh, I've got a holder here that goes in this slot at the top which they call a transparent materials adapter and my scanner here will also scan ordinary prints so let's have a look and see what happens when I connect the scanner to my Windows 7 PC Windows 7 goes off to the internet it finds the appropriate driver for that scanner uh, this is the 64-bit version of Windows 7 so it finds the 64-bit driver it installs that and we can see here in devices and printers up at the top in the middle of the top row there there's my scanner if I right click it I get a number of options I could double click it to start a scan and if I go and do that I get a standard Windows imaging dialog we can choose the type of picture I want to scan but there's only one choice for where that picture is going to come from there isn't an option to choose anything other than flatbed so you can see I can get a preview of the uh, index print there and you can see in the preview there's the uh, transparent materials adapter that uh, oblong shape uh, in the lower half of the image and I can scan this and this is all part of normal Windows imaging so I can scan it we go through the normal import process of tagging the pictures we get to see the folder where they've gone but it's no use to me for anything other than scanning prints so in order to use the transparent materials adapter it looks like I need to use the 32-bit Windows XP drivers here on my 64-bit version of Windows 7 and the easiest way for me to do that is to use Windows XP mode. You can see XP mode starting up here. We've actually edited it a little to uh, speed the process up for you. This would work just as well, incidentally, as uh, if I was using the uh, MedV part of the desktop optimization pack. They're both based on Windows Virtual PC, which now has this ability to map through USB devices from the host operating system to the virtual machine. Before I map that through though, I need to install the HP software. So if I go into uh, my computer, you can see the optical drive in the host operating system has been mapped through. It's got the HP software disk in. I'm just going to click very quickly through installing the software. And again, we've done a little bit of editing so you don't have to watch all the uh, 160 mega files being copied. And in a second it'll come up and it'll say it's finished installing the software. So now the software's on, uh, what I need to do is to connect the scanner and the equivalent of plugging a scanner into a physical machine, well here in Windows Virtual PC we just go to the USB menu, we choose to attach that device and you can see down at the bottom right hand corner the balloons coming up as the hardware is configured. Once that's done we can actually go and do a test scan. Now, I'm going to ignore the items on the desktop and start the program from the start menu. Because I'm using XP mode here, these newly created icons will be mapped through to icons in the host operating system. Uh, I need to use scan picture from the director there to actually get into the scanning software. And now I've got my transparent materials adapter choices, so I'm going to choose negatives from a transparent materials adapter. Uh, the fade tells you that we've cut a little piece out there so you didn't have to watch the uh, lamp warming up and I can select the part of the negative that I want to scan and again it takes a few seconds so we've just edited that out and you can see the image gets scanned in and I can keep working with this scanner software pretty much as I'd work with any scanner software now so I can scan another image and when that's done I can say OK uh, I don't want to keep on scanning, save the images and at this point it brings up uh, this piece of software called the HP uh, Gallery. Uh, not my favourite piece of software, it uh, only really understands local drives and it's combined with this uh, not terribly wonderful editor so I'd far rather use my new stuff on Windows 7 to edit my pictures. Now 
the easiest way to actually move my pictures over to Windows 7 is just to go into the, the folder where they're stored, copy them, and then go back up to my computer, select the drive on my local machine where I want to put them, and paste them in. Now I can speed this up even further and make sure that the folders show up in the host operating system by making shortcuts for these folders on the start menu. But since this is Windows XP mode on Windows 7, it would be nicer if I could do this from my Windows 7 desktop without having to work from a full XP desktop in the virtual machine. So if I scroll down here, we can see that the uh, newly added programs that we saw in the VM have now been copied across and show up on the start menu in Windows 7. If I start one of those programs, I can then go to the jump list for it on the taskbar, and there's the option here to connect a USB device through. Now for demo purposes, I've disconnected the scanjet, and now I've just reattached it. So you can see the process there. We do that on a cold start, and now I can launch the scanning software, and as I did when I was running it on a full XP desktop, I get the options for scanning from the transparent materials adapter and I can scan the negative just as I did before and as you'll see in a second it goes back to the same HP gallery so I want to do the same copy and paste to move the files over and I'm done